You've got a research paper due soon, but you've left your sources to the last minute. That's why this video is going to show you how to format your research paper, insert citations, and create a works cited page in less than five minutes. Here are five formatting changes that we need to make before we can even start adding in our citations to this research paper. And the first one is to double space all of the text in your document. So I'm going to put my insertion point in the document, press control A on my keyboard, and then I'm going to go up to the line and paragraph spacing drop arrow, click that and click the number two. Now all of my text is double spaced. And then we're going to go back to that drop arrow and then also choose remove spacing after paragraph so that you're left with no unnecessary spacing after each paragraph. The next thing that we're going to do is increase the font to 12 points. I know that seems silly. What's the difference between 11 and 12? Well, it's just a standard thing among all research papers. So just ensure that your font is 12 points. The next thing that we're going to do is make sure that the first line of every paragraph is indented by half an inch. So the way that you would do that is with all of my text selected, I'm going to go to the paragraph setting dialog box here, click on that. And then in the indentation group under special, I'm going to change the, this box from none to first line, and then make sure it says by 0.5 inches. And then we'll click OK. But this area of our document, I didn't want to move over. So we can just quickly change that by highlighting it and then drag this first line indent marker back to where we started. The last thing that we need to do is to add a page number, but one that comes after our last name. So to do that, we're going to click insert. And then we're going to go to the page number drop arrow. We're going to choose top of the page and we want a style that has the page number to the right of the top of the page. So plane number three will do that for us. And then now that we've got the page numbers on every page, you can just type in your last name before that and then click into the document. And now we can start inserting our citations. To insert a citation, you have to put your insertion point at the end of the sentence, but before the last punctuation mark. So I'll put my insertion point just after 1962, but before the period. And then I'll click on the references tab and go to the citations and bibliography group. We'll choose our style. Most styles are APA or MLA. Uh, APA is used for scientific papers. MLA is more for the humanities or research papers, like the one we've got about this pineapple on pizza. And then we'll insert a citation by clicking the drop arrow and then click add new source. This is where we're going to add as much information about a source that we use. Now I've tried to put as much information as I can. If you're doing something like a blog article, try to at least get the author's name, whether it's a company or individual, the title, and then the year that it was created. And then once you've got as much information as possible, press OK. The citation is inserted, but we're missing something. Most research papers have a page number following the author's name. So if I want to add the page number, I'm going to have to right click on the citation and edit it. So I'll right click on it and then find the edit citation part, not edit source, because that'll take us back to the original source that we were on edit citation. And then we can insert the page numbers or maybe it was just a single page that we borrowed the information from then click OK. And there's the page number in the citation. So this next citation is challenging because we've already mentioned the author's name in the sentence. So what do you do in that case? Well, you don't want to repeat the author's name in the citation that we're inserting. So what we want to do instead is just have the page number because we've already referenced the author at the beginning of the sentence. So this time when we go to insert our citation, we'll add our new source, we'll put in as much information as we can. And then again, press OK. Now you see just the author's name again, we can change that right click on it, we're going to edit the citation. And we're going to do something a little bit different, you can actually suppress certain information. So we're going to insert the page number here. But then you can suppress the rest of the information like the author, the year, the title, that kind of thing, so that only the page number stands out. So when we click OK, we're only going to see the page number. And that's exactly what we want for this citation. Now that we've completed all of our citations, we can go to the bottom of the page by pressing Control End. And here's where we're going to insert a page break so that we can insert the bibliography page. So go to Layout tab, go to Break, and then click Page Break. That's going to make sure that wherever your last page ended, we are going to just start fresh on a new page. And this is where we're going to put our works cited or bibliography page. So we'll go to the references tab, we'll go to bibliography drop arrow, and then choose your style. Uh, for MLA, it's works cited. But there's a few things we need to change even when we have inserted it. So you see all of our citations there, you have to center align the title and then also make it 12 points, it can't have this Microsoft Word style that it currently has it has to be 12 points if you're doing a proper research article. So 12 points and just regular font. And just like the rest of your essay, you have to double space this works cited area. 
So we'll just go to the line and spacing options and then click two again. There's our work cited, but double spaced. Now, one of the most challenging things about formatting a research paper is where to put the page numbers. And if you have something challenging, like you want to insert the first page number on page three, it's super challenging in Microsoft Word, but I have a video that'll explain how to do that on your screen. Click on that and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.